D Martin 95 here guys getting ready to do a uh, 11 pole stator upgrade to the sunny 150 cc it looks a lot like a John way or John way I'm not sure how you pronounce it John way 150 anyways the first step to this process is you're going to take off some bolts. You're going to take off this one. Be careful with this one because you got some wires right here. Keep all your wires together. It contains a ground strap. There's one right up in there. You got to remove that one. And these screws. Bam, bam. Once this is off, we're going to take that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, and that bolt off to remove the fan. We'll be right back once these are removed. Okay, I pulled the bolts off the cover. And here's what that looks like. Now take note, this has got a red performance fan on there. I have no idea why it has one of those. Perhaps it came from the factory like that. I'm hoping I don't get into here and someone's already done something. Okay, I'm going to take the fan off. We'll be right back after I take the fan off. Okay, now here we are. Here's the fan. And here's the type of flywheel that's on there. This is the flywheel I'm putting on there. My hope, one of the things you have to pay attention when you're doing this, You got to pay attention. I'm uh, trying to get some good light here. Okay. All right. This notch right here, it's called your wood rough key. You're going to want to make sure this is your main magnet. You're going to want to make sure that the wood rough key is in the same position as your magnet. See the magnet on this one? I'm hoping the wood rough key is notched out elsewise you'll have timing issues this wouldn't be an issue if i was just doing a straight 11 pole swap but i'm putting an 11 pole ac stator in here a kimco which is really really good for charging and that's why i'm doing an upgrade but i'm not exactly sure if everything's going to line up just right so Next step you got to do, you're going to need an impact. This is my Makita impact gun. may have to get out the air, the air impact, but you have to take this bolt off. Be right back and walk you through the process of that. Okay, I had to bust out the air tools. It's a 17 millimeter, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> And my woodruff key is right up there, which means they're, I think they're in the same spot. 
I'm not exactly sure. I won't know till I get it off. I have to take off the pickup coil right here, this thing. Pluck that off. I'm just kind of taking these long shots because, you know, people often want to see like certain details and you may miss it. They may, may want to just be taking a look for something else. They may want to just have a look at, you know, this side of the crankcase, you know. So I just try to give nice long shots, let everybody get some engine porn in, scooter porn. It's all naked, that's why it's scooter porn. <laughs> funny huh anyways uh okay so now i'm gonna pluck off this pickup coil and to remove this you need a special tool i have one right here it's called a flywheel remover you stick it in like so and well right now i have this screwed down so you just Twist this out. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Twisting, twisting. And you just twist it in, twist it in. Okay. Once your push pin's retracted in. Okay, I got it pushed in enough. Now, when you screw this in, you always hear righty tighty, lefty loosey. Not the case with this. This is a counterclockwise one. You're gonna put it in, turn to your left. Turn, 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 turn. turn. And then you crank this one down. But I'm not all the way down yet. Okay. Now when I do this, I'm going to put a wrench in this flat spot to hold it in place. And this, you just crank down. And as what happens is that pushes inward while this is here backing this flywheel right off. It's a pretty cool design. Pretty cool invention. Got this thing for $4 off eBay. So specialty tools, not going to break you. Okay, so uh, I need to remove that pickup coil, and that's just done with these two 8 millimeter bolts. So let me get that off there, and we'll get right back to it. Okay, so I popped off the flywheel, and it's got an 8 coil stator. I was unsure till I actually plucked this thing off. I wasn't I wasn't able to find any kind of engine diagram or anything like that. So the stator is just about ready to come off. Now I must remove this bolt, this bolt, and remove these two bolts here. That one and that one. This little plate right here holds your wire back. So, I'm going to take this off. Now, I've noticed... Uh, that's got to be good for it. My woodruff keys are not in the same spot. They're not off by much. So, I may just wind up using my original 8-pole stator, my 8-pole flywheel. It's nice and clean in there, maybe clean it up a little bit, get some brake clean or something. And this is, <laughs> powerful magnets. This is the inside of the, what is called the 11 pole flywheel. But, I don't know, I think it's just another 8 pole. Uh, could be wrong. Let's take one more shot at this. Now 
Okay, and now I'll be right back after I remove those four bolts. Okay, so here we go. I've removed that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. Pull this strap off here. Always try to keep your bolts together so you know which one they go into. Because as you can see, I mean, this one's going to be pretty easy to remember. But the bolts that came out of here, I already put them in the new stator just to, so I didn't lose them. But as you can see, they're completely different size. And same thing with the rest of the hardware that I've pulled out. They're all different sizes. Now the reason those are all jumbled together is because like the four can only go to this. The two can only go to the pickup coil. So there's certain times where, you know, but anyways, this is just pointless rambling on. I'm sure everybody uh, does their own stuff their own way. And here we go, pulling it off. And that's it. Takes about 10 minutes to pull it off. I still got to unhook it from the harness up there, right up in there. But that's it. That's the first part of this video series is removing the old stator. And I'll see you guys in just a bit.